I'd be able to take my right thumb and basically place it there. I can just unlock it, use it as, as B. But then anytime I want to go right back inside of YouTube, do it with my left thumb. Very cool. And then if I want to do it over, you know, with the fingerprint or the, the right index, boom, take me right inside of Poolin. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm going to show you guys a trick on how you're able to set up your fingerprint reader to where if you use one fingerprint, it would unlock your phone, take you to the home screen, or you can set it up to where if you use a different fingerprint, it'll unlock your phone and then open up your most used or your favorite application instantly and right away. Now, this one here is the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So with the fingerprint reader being on the right-hand side, it's really kind of limiting me to using probably just my thumb and index finger. Now, we will be setting everything up over here on the Galaxy S21 Ultra because the in-screen fingerprint reader is so much easier because you can set up with your right thumb, left thumb, and you can even use index finger if you want to but it's kind of nice to where if you unlock your phone with the right then you can unlock it again on the left but open up an application immediately so since we already have it set up over here on the galaxy z fold 3 i'm going to show you all the steps that you would need to take over here on the galaxy s21 ultra so first just to show you how it's all set up right away if i put my fingerprint on it on the right hand side it just unlocks the phone and right now i don't have anything set up for my left thumb so there's nothing that would open up or unlock with the left thumb and that's what we're going to add in today. So first we do have to add in that fingerprint that we're talking about now, which is my left thumb before we really kind of get everything started. Because once you get everything started, you'd have to back out anyways to add in this fingerprint. So first let's go inside of setting up this fingerprint. You want to go inside of your settings. You go to biometrics and security. You can see here that we only have one fingerprint that is added. Type in your pin. Now, once inside of these settings, we're going to go to add fingerprints. And so this one, we're going to do it with the left thumb. And then we're going to also title it and name it left. So then this way, you know exactly which profile that you're talking about. So once you've got it all the way up to 100%, we're going to hit on done. We will be naming this one left just so it's really easy. We know exactly which fingerprint is what instead of having it fingerprint one, fingerprint two, fingerprint three. And after a while, you have no idea. So now that we have the right and the left, the next thing that you would want to do and actually where we're setting it up is inside of Bixby routines. Now, I'm not a huge Bixby routine user, but this is the only thing that I'll really be doing here. And I want to show you right away. If you go to this, if you're going to notice on the very bottom, the last category we have is call. So there's really nothing inside of here that would be dealing with fingerprint so what you'd want to do is go inside of good lock so once you've added in your secondary you know fingerprint you go inside of good lock this is where you want to download routines plus now i found this one because there was some recent updates with the with the the samsung galaxy store and with a few applications i think this one was updated sometime last month so inside of this this routines plus it was now just added inside of the Bixby routines. So if you don't have Bixby routines as a quick shortcut over here inside of your quick menu, uh, just go inside of your three dots on the top right hand side, hit on edit buttons, and maybe your button is sitting up there. You, maybe you took it off or maybe it was never added in, you know, immediately. You basically press and hold, drag it down here, you hit on done, and then it's going to show up in those little quick settings menus on the top. So this is where you go inside of Bixby routines with a press and hold. Go to add routine. This is where you put in the if then. So if I use my left thumb, then it'll open up my favorite application. So here it is. Here is the if. And then you go all the way to the bottom. And you can see here the very last category is routines plus. So as you added that in through good lock, it was added in through the settings. And you do this one here, unlock with fingerprint. And there's some fun things too. You also have button action and S Pen action. So we're going to do unlock with fingerprint. And we're going to choose that left option. Again, this is the reason why you want to set up that additional fingerprint uh, before you actually download this application, because then you would have to add it in at this point. So here it is. If my left fingerprint is being used, then there's all these options and there's quite a few things you can do. There's advanced options, there's applications, functions, things like that. So we're going to go inside of apps. Then we're going to go to open an app or do an app action. And this one, I'm just going to open up YouTube. So we're going to type in YouTube. And you can see it pop up there. So open YouTube and then you hit on done. So if I unlock with my left profile, then it's going to unlock the phone and open up YouTube right away. And then this is where you can change the color. So if you want it to be blue, green, purple, you know, whatever you'd want it to look like. Uh, right over here, I am going to call this one unlock with, and I'm just going to call it YouTube because who knows, I might wanna set up another one with maybe my index to open something else. So here it is, if you do want to make any changes with this, you go back inside of your Bixby routines, you tap on this, this is where you go to edit or on the top, 
there should be an option to also delete it as well. So if you want to change the application, if you want to change the fingerprint of what you know profile you're using, you can do all of that. And so now that this is all set up, let's say that we were to go and unlock the phone. My right thumb should just unlock the device, and there you go. Now if I was to use my left thumb, now it's going to unlock it and then go right inside of YouTube. Again, super, super beneficial. It helps out a ton. Uh, so if there's those applications that you use a ton, uh, you use it like multiple times a day, this is what you'd be able to do. So how about we add in just another fingerprint just for good measure. So you do want to go inside of your settings. You want to go back to biometrics and security. We're going to go to fingerprints and then type in your code. And with this one, I'm going to add in one more fingerprint and probably I'm trying to figure out which one might be the easiest. Maybe if this thing is just sitting on a table and I want to use my, my right index finger, then what's going to happen? Again, you want to put it in all different angles because you never really know how you're going to hold on to your phone and get it unlocked. So we're just going to do this one here. When it's finished, you just hit undone. And for this one, we're going to call right index. Because again, who knows, we might be adding in another one later. Uh, there might be another application I would want to use my left index. Okay, so there we go. We have the right index. Now what you'd want to do is you'd want to go inside of your Bixby routines one more time. Go to add routine. If, go to the very bottom, unlock with fingerprint. We're going to go with right index. Then we will be doing another application because I don't really think I'm going to do a bunch of these unless if you want to check out your battery information. Uh, if that's something that you do all the time, you can also do that. Advanced options. So there's a show action list, wait before next action, confirm before next action. So we're not going to play with those. So here is the apps. We will be uh, opening up an application. Now, the other one that I do use a lot other than YouTube on this one, uh, again, actually, you know what? I'm going to go inside of Poolin. So this is one of those uh, 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 pools that I use for mining Bitcoin, things like that. So if I use my right index, then it's going to open up pool in. And so once you hit on next, we're going to go to a different color over here again. I'm going to put in the word pool in just so I know exactly which one it is. And then you hit on done. And now we have two of them. And again, you can always delete these at any given point in time. So now if I wanted to unlock it, take a look at pool in, just use my right index. Boom, now we're inside. And there is actually one more thing I wanna show you. Let's say that you have some type of do not disturb set up and you, and you maybe turned off your, your Bixby routines or maybe you personally turned off Bixby routines. Once you have this thing turned off, then any of those things that you just set up won't be there, but it's still going to unlock your phone with your right thumb. It's also still going to unlock your phone with your left thumb because again, you have your fingerprints all set in and then we're gonna to go to the right index and it'll unlock with the right index. So you, if you're trying to do this and you're noticing it's not working, just make sure that your Bixby routines is turned on. Uh, so then this way <laughs> you'd be able to, uh, you know, get rocking and rolling. So that is pretty much about it. Uh, I know that some people would maybe go back inside of good lock, go back inside of the routines plus and through routines plus you can get more additional things. You can see things, you can read things. Uh, so location based, quick access, run a touch macro control arrow keys with S pen. Uh, here's that fingerprint to website that's sitting right there, low battery management. So I just wanted to show you the easier way which was actually through Bixby routines rather than going through this. And the screen setup looks a little bit different than before as well. But again, this is through the Bixby routines plus application itself, not through the Samsung default settings of Bixby routines. I hope that kind of makes sense. You just add in a routine. I think that this kind of looks better. looks easier anyways. It's a quick setting on the very top and you just basically set this thing up. But I hope you guys found this to be useful. I think it's actually very useful. Again, I'd be able to take my right thumb and basically place it there. I can just unlock it, use it as, as B. But then anytime I want to go right back inside of YouTube, do it with my left thumb. Very cool. And then if I want to do it over, you know, with the fingerprint or the, the right index, boom, take me right inside of pooling. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.